Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be refinishing a table. This is a cherry, solid cherry top uh, table with painted sides that I believe, uh, based on the wood that I can see, is probably poplar. Um, we've got some, what I think is some nail polish here, or something like that. What looks to be a ring, half a ring from a scotch glass, and as I feel this it burned right through the finish, so that's telling me that this is a uh, shellac finish. Got some scratches that are down through the uh, shellac. So, okay, so while I have a lot of expensive equipment down here, you really don't need to go crazy. You can have just a regular five inch orbital sander or a pad sander. Oh, I don't want to drop that. Um, you know, I've got a bunch of these different ones for different uses, but you know, I think this one I got at Harbor Freight. I don't think I paid more than $20 for it. Just used our quicksand uh, porter cable with uh, 220 grit, and uh, after 180 we did that. 120, or I'm sorry, after 180 we did 220. Now we're going to tack uh, the surface clean, get all the dust up, and then apply our first coat of stain. And I'm still deciding what I'm going to do for stain, so um, we'll get back in a little bit and I'll show you what I what I chose. Okay, the uh, stain that I'm putting on, it's actually a oil. It's a um, cherry Danish oil that's made by uh, general finishes that I usually get at Rockler, but um, it matches the color and will blend in that white sapwood in the middle uh, pretty well, and I'll, I'll wind up putting two or three coats of this on. The nice thing about it, it's really hard to screw up. Uh, we're about 45 minutes into this project so far. You can see here this strip of sapwood, this board, is um, it's going to match it pretty, pretty well with the other pieces, with the heartwood. This is what we're left with. Dirty rag with oil on it. You do not ever want to do this. Ball it up and throw it somewhere. When it dries, any oil will uh, gather up heat as the, the drying process occurs. Heat is the byproduct and of the chemical reaction that takes place when it dries and um, you'll have a fire. So we open these up, just lay them straight out flat on the concrete where they can't do any harm and when you find them the next morning the next day generally they are shriveled up as the heat pulls them together what we're going to be using is a uh, water-based finish satin poly acrylic uh, blend I get this at Rockler it's, uh, a milky kind of substance. Normally I would not use uh, water-based polyurethane but seeing that it's winter and I'm in my basement and uh, fumes are always a problem because I've got a gas a hot water tank and furnace. So uh, here's how you basically put it on. You use a foam brush and you just It actually looks like skim milk when you're putting it on. Long strokes, and you just spread it on. After this dries, we'll put on a, we'll sand it lightly, and then uh, 
put another coat on. I'll let that dry and come back and lightly sand it. You can feel where the grain is raised and the fuzzies kind of come up. So we're just lightly sanding to get that off. Cut those little fibers before we apply our second coat. Not much pressure. Here's a tip. Um, in the pad sander kits, if you get like the round ones, you'll get spacers. These are just made out of paper. I will use these for the final sanding. They work really well. You could also use a paper bag. That works very well for final sanding. And it's just rough enough that um, what it does is it just puts a baby smooth uh, finish on. And when you're after your second coat, um, all it's doing is just burnishing the edges of the finish. So it's not really creating or making much dust of, of any. You can hear how rough that is. Now when I rub it, you can noticeably tell the difference. Okay, now that we have our final third coat of water-based polyurethane, we're just using some 4 aught steel wool and doing a nice final pass nothing hard we're just going lightly take out any air bubbles or nubs and make the surface glass smooth and then we'll be done and ready to take this upstairs we'll be able to put cocktails on top of it and we won't have to worry about any spills and any uh, alcohol uh, burning through the finish so here's the table. Maybe uh, hard to see with the glare, but uh, got a nice sheen on it. It's baby bottom smooth, three coats of polyurethane, and yet still retains some of the little nicks and. Oh, it feels good. We get lots of use out of this. All right, everybody, go out there and find yourself a table, whether it's free or. Uh, something that you get cheap. Just know what your top is. Know what it's made out of. And then go to town. Hopefully this video helps some of you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.